Um, hello? We're gonna play, uh, I wonder which game. Maybe it's called Press Any Button? Uh, uh we're playing Kona. A, uh, Canadian game. As you might be able to tell, because it's, uh, the Frozen Tundra. A uh, Canadian game about mystery. Uh, I know what happens in the game, but I'm just gonna leave you to solve the mystery. Uh, and hope I actually get through the game in episodes. I, I hope I play the entire game. I'm gonna press any button. I'm playing this on the PS5 since I'm not a fool. Let's go to the options. Audio, get the subtitles on already. Is it always going to be letter box? Vignette, field of view, it's fine. The control. Yep. All looks good. Let's go play first save file, and we'll load in the corner. Go and meet Carl Fulbear. Northern Quebec, October 1970. Carl Fulbear sought information for a living. That is to say, that ever since he returned from Korea, after having served with the armed forces. He had been working as a private investigator in Montreal. Okay, William I... Hamilton, a rich industrialist, had gotten in touch with him regarding a simple vandalism issue. Nothing to write home about. Not worth hiring a private eye either, just so he can drive for hours on rough roads. But that's how it had always been. The client pays, Carl gets it done. I feel you, Carl. I, I don't actually, I don't they know what that means. to meet at the general store, his client's business. Well, actually, the entire Get village the had William Hamilton's name written all over it. Little oil baron. I love oil. When the roads were bad, muddy, or snowed in, it was customary around these parts to close them off. Oh. But it was also customary to ignore those signs entirely and drive there anyway. Of course. Skim. Hamilton never oh, mentioned it's the a thing road yet, barrier. I can't do it. Can't do the vignette. But you're playing on the. Is it the vignette? I'm so sorry to do this to people, but... Let's see, is that where the graphics are money? Why was it needed here in the back no. Ah, so I'm just a piece of shit. Put the vignette back on. I'm not gonna cut this since I'm... Just gonna be uploading this from the PlayStation. That would, however, be a mystery for another day. Carl had waited long enough for someone to come and raise it. Ah, uh, yeah, Still Carl. Not sold in sight. Uh, no he's a rock. Waiting any longer. Carl had to figure this one out by himself. Let's jump. Let's let's zoom your eyes. Okay. He's got a torch. The Polaroid. Carl's long-standing and faithful ally has seen his share of husbands caught red-handed cheating. There's always something out there waiting to be snapped away. Okay. Carl, ever diligent in his work, always carried his log on him, in which he scribbled down thoughts and leads alike during the course of his investigations. Chicago. <sighs> Disgusting place. Look in here. Telephone? Hamilton no nope. doubt knew who managed the barrier. Carl wanted to give him a call, but that would have been too easy though, as sure enough the line was acting up. 
I don't know. The uh, bon I should not read this. I am horrible at French. Manistan, it will be good. Northern Quebec, blah 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 blah. A lot of oil. Africa of America. Mm. <laughs> Come and discover the north and experience a genuine white jungle. Huh. Yep, that sounds right. That's what all French people believe. You'll never change my mind. Anyway, is there a sprint? Yeah. What is that, a light jog? Yes, it is! Some tribal stuff. Always lovely. Get up here. Ooh, a box. Open box. Pincer. Matches. Or, oh, sorry, fire starter. This is a survival game. So, pretty sure it's just heat, though. That is a good question. But, I'm not going to be staying to find out. I'm Carl Fulbert. The cutters make quick work of the chain. What better way to investigate vandals than to get into their shoes? Carl, the professional vandal bot, traveling <laughs> in the irony of the situation. Hamilton is waiting for Carl in the general store. It was time for him to get down to business. Time to get down to business, Carl from Bear. You're man of Hamilton man of lavish country ex extreme the heart of the northern forest. Detective. Frontier. The local populace was divided when it came to the affluent man. Some saw a wealthy philanthropist dedicated to improving the region's economy. Others an aging English who would do anything to further his fortune. Said it was from Chicago. Those ones hated him enough to go on about scheming Some against more him. tribal stuff. Hamilton had recently acquired a few local businesses, but the last straw was the reopening of a mine, which gave rise to a wave of protests. Oh, and we don't want that mine. People. Given the these circumstances. That? Carl reckoned that a good number of people must be feeling compelled to oppose Hamilton in one way or another. So far, only the industrialists have been the target, cut out. but soon enough, Carl thought, the target. Yo! Oh. We've done a little crash. It's time for spooking. Carl needed to get out of there. The cold and the pain required urgent care. Oh, his car isn't working. Or, well, has no grip because it's snow. <laughs> Kona, that's the game. We're in. We're limber. I'll leave my sick ride. Gonna be jog down here. South Atomapec. Carl wondered oh. how long he would have to endure this skin stinging cold. Turn on. Even better than he had hoped. Carl Fauvert had succeeded Matches. once more and was now on his way. Carl, to you're just a mastermind. I bet, I bet Carl's in the like Olympics for coolest guy ever. Uh, I really think those log those logs are not dry at all. But. <sighs> I just fall asleep here in my wolf skin coat. What I need? I need uh, health, health machine. Uh, okay, so we have those. Uh, 
we can also light a fire down there. Turn our wine spot, I guess. If you need to turn your car. No, no. Nothing there. But anyway, let's get back to the web. Anything here? No. Ooh, my feet! Check this car. The driver had taken off. It was still best to check it out and leave nothing to chance. Carl needed help. A locked iron box. And an Isabel photo. Let me put up the map. There. General stores up there. Okay. Anything in the boot? That's uh, that's a healing. First, first aid. Good job. I got my Chevrolet. Keep me company. Put those on. They're all put. They're all put on. Car not of warmth. Drive in my bike and I don't there's no radio, I kind of have to improvise. Oh yeah, there is! Welcome to Manus of untouched forest, bellowing caribou, everlasting snow, and undefiled lakes. The Manistan region was no tourist hub. It was said to have been populated for millennia by Cree people, and Cree. ever since the industrial era, by the metal mining industry. That's the Cree are gonna be the... John Bedard had without a doubt been the closest man in the village to William Hamilton. Otherwise, no Actually, did Lillard. I go past the... The truck was running on fumes. Good thing that the general store was close by. Wait, what? Actually, am I? Is it this way? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. What's that? What's it doing? Oh, I'm not gonna crash. Wait, let me just check this. Is there. General store. Let me just check if there's a. There is a platinum. That's good. Moms wouldn't surrender their divine nectar suite. In all likelihood, they had to be switched on from inside the store. Mega more. Open. Something fell to the bottom of the box. Anybody home? Oh, fuck. Oh, that's... Carl had no trouble recognizing his employer. He had been killed. There was no need to be a detective to figure that out. No, Carl! The detective could have noticed that the killer had to have been very close. But the fatal blow had been given before the victim even realized. Yeah, keep that one in the back pocket. Hey, get a... Oh, no, 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 no. Get a mug shot. Uh, 
Carl felt a chill down his spine and had a terrifying that. realization. If Hamilton was dead, then who was going to pay him? <laughs> I want money. Carl ever the um mastermind. Kona Cola. An explosion suddenly occurred outside. Oh, I might just put myself die. That was actually kind of scary. Generator. Turn on. Turn off. Yep. Oh, fuck, wolves. Maintaining his composure, Carl recalled something from his military training. Wolves always stay away from populated areas. Wait, was it about bears? I mean, it. Oh, come on, I keep on my note. His name is Foo Bear, so. Any tip and scissors? Is any good um, detective knows the best way to fix a cable is tape and scissors. Quebec's Klondike. Uh, I don't know. Somebody can read that. Post office. Jumping from that height was akin to tempting death. Perhaps that man on the snowmobile had seen enough of this world already. Was it him? Was it that man? Um. Carl knew that Gilles Lachance was in charge of the general store. That made him one of Hamilton's employees. A very angry employee, as Carl could plainly see. Four. the alcohol. I want me some top shelf uh, carrots. Oh, sherry. Carl's got some tests. In his Uh, let's check out the garage. Is there anything in here? Nah, no, nothing yummy. Ah, oh, needs a key. Um, I can break that. There we go, shortcut mid. Need another key for that. Thingies. What is it? A bunch of oak oh, tip. Good. Letter. According to that law, it seemed like the whole village owed some money to the general store. Carl was far ah, more interested garage. in the bunch of nearby addresses he had just gotten his hands on. Okay, so we need scissors. And then we can get the generator fixed. I don't know why that was already running. And then it just stopped. Go. Cool car. I mean, this is 70, so I think that's just a car. Hardware. Pliers. 
we can fix the generator. But is there other mysteries afoot inside? Um, that? Staring intently at the controls won't be enough to make that lift budge. The poor thing was out of power. Took out the radio. My part here. Well, time to fix the J. Rare. Thank goodness my torch has infinite battery life. Is it just the lights are off? Hey! Turn on the pump. Um, there's someone that guy's ladder. Oh, it's a shortcut to the torch. Right? That's what that is. Oh, uh, document. Jealous. No, nothing there. Uh, customer credit. Nope. Documents. Envelope. What could be inside that envelope? Carl was taken aback. He knew this address. It was said to be the address of the P.O. box for the Canadian Secret Service. Canada has a Secret Service? Hmm. More you know. Anyway, let's set you to the garage, see what is in that car. Use the left. Actually, you know what? I won't play the entirety of this series. But if I get five views, I will make At another long video. Last, the crowbar was within Carl's grasp. Surely it would come in handy at some point. Beat up this guy's car. Okay. That's nice. Now all we need is I know there's something back there and I know how to do it. I'm saving it. Saving it for later. By the post box. Beans. I love beans. Post box. I haven't got the key. But I didn't hear. The milkman had to drive by every week to fill the bottles. The fresh milk indicated the recent wouldn't surrender their divine nectar suite. In all likelihood, they had to be switched on from the inside. Yeah, I did switch them on. Did I switch on both? Hmm. Guess I accidentally turned it off. But that one's on. So we have the diesels. The Vin Diesels. John or Carl, you're not gonna do it when your engine's on. 
Carl knew straight away where to find the infuriated Gilles Lachan. Any good investigation would have to start there. Okay. Wolves. Well. Well, Wolf. Carl was used to strange phenomena. But a chunk of ice like this? As if an iceberg came out of the ground? That was a first. Oh, how do I get my equipment? Let's get you my trusty crowbar. Carl was beginning to know the store and its surroundings like the back of his hand. The secret. That's all. Yeah, I don't. Another one of those. I just get your last item. Crowbar. I don't want anything to come attack me, personally. Ah! Delightful. They call me the Iceman. You know why? Because uh, Carl wondered oh. what the hell could that thing be? It looked like a man fossilized in ice. Oh, jeez, I did not All expect that. All Carl felt like he was pulled inside a world of dreams, a cold, unknown dimension. Somehow, self-control was slipping from his grasp. Oh no, a wolf. To all appearances, this was a hunting log. Better yet, a war diary. Is that a wolf then? What could these engraved numbers mean? A fresh path suddenly appeared before Carl. Carl, what are you smoking? Oh no, I'm gonna crash. Run away from wolves? Oh, it's car. That's his car. Uh, that's Chile. Chile. Frozen hands in hot water. What happened? Now at least he knew who the unfortunate man petrified in ice was. Gilles Lachance, the general store's manager himself. Snap be the worst parking job ever. Who was Carl to judge, though? It may be Yeah, Carl, you did that like a minute ago. Parts, or not. Let's go find that frozen corpse. Take a snap of the corpse. You're good. Jeez. Must be some big wolf. <laughs> Good snap. There we go. Oh, actually. Hold on. There be hoof prints. Leading in air. Leading over this ice. Carabao? Oh. What is this place? What does that all mean? Oh, it's a house. Oh. Well, I think this is a good a place as any to stop. Ha! 
You're gonna have to wait for the next one. <laughs> oh, I can't see if. Oh, well. Can I it see was it so cold. Already, Carl did not feel his toes. Oh, maybe I have to be inside. Uh, looks like I am gonna explore the La Chance's house. Take a log. Take a log. The air was freezing right down to the bone. Uh. Carl felt a cool, tingling sensation in his back. Another vision took over him. Hidden under the stairs. The man grabbed his rifle. Carl felt a sense of dread in him. Oh, is that the guy from earlier with the bent gun? Spousal relationship had been cooling down lately. This is a pretty small house. It seemed like secrecy Next was commonplace in this house. Reality in which Giselle, Jill's loving spouse, was motionless, frozen in ice. Can we? Yeah. I need the heat. That window had seemingly been left open for a while, Carl thought. Carl Even is a weather, genius. It have been intentional. Can we close it? the clocks work it's all three ah oh, moving what a pleasant activity of course you'll find the record player only to find the records weeks later in some random box mm, yeah relatable uh, exposition the general store along with several more infrastructures in the area had been acquired by wealthy industrialist William J Ooh. Hamilton perhaps the village should be rechristened Hamilton it felt like old people were all these walls could see for years. The Lachances could hardly be blamed for wanting to freshen things up a bit. Carl had seen that kind of safe before, with its double-layered security system blending letters and numbers. That guy, he had a... Uh... Yeah, this... The code couldn't be broken by the common burglar. Seven three nine. I think I know it. I think I remember it. It's B L seven three nine. B. There's an L. So B. <laughs> Seven, seven, three, nine. Ho oh, ho! Okay. Yeah, radio. How come these guys what have been in there? Clearly, there was some major revamping work underway here. The place looked barely habitable. Butterwood film. Woo! Many boxes scattered about. Carl didn't need to summon his detective training to quickly figure that the Lachances had just moved in. Beautiful portrait of Gilles and Giselle. 
bound together by the chains of conventional love. Yep. That seems like it's a thing. Harlequin now. Don't know a nice that. white coating would restore the room to its charm of olden days. Many boxes scattered about. Carl didn't need to summon his detective training to quickly figure that the last houses that. had just moved in. Open. Ah, she's just cigarettes. Boop. The cross looked after a marriage's well being and served as a motive to uphold the priest's sermons calling for more little worshippers on one hand and cautioning against guilty pleasures on the other. Indeed, the Lachances were still part of the God-fearing generation. Mm. Can I save? Yes, I can. Well, anyway, we've explored the... No. I haven't explored these. Nothing. Uh, well, this is the Lachances house. That's... Uh, Jill. Or, no, that's Giselle. And then Jill is down there somewhere. Um, yeah, we're gonna save here by the roaring fire. And if this gets some views, I will make a second video. And then if that gets views, a third. Until I complete the game. It's very interesting though. And who knows? If the entire series gets a lot of views, I'll play the VR version and ship myself. Because it's meant to be scary. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna stop dawdling. I'm gonna see if. I'm gonna thank you for watching. And I'm gonna hope that uh, Giselle doesn't come alive and try to eat me or something. Anyway, thanks for watching.